The story of Barney. Our daughter Sophie fell in love with a little black Labrador that lived next door to where she worked. So Barney came to us and at about four months he started to grow whiskers. And then he grew Johnny Howard eyebrows. And so he grew and he grew, he grew too big to go on the mower with me. He dearly loved a mower, but he couldn't fit on the mower any longer. And he finally surrendered his spot on the mower and decided to help me in the yard instead. Eventually, weaned him onto the chook bucket. And that was his real forte. So Barn can't carry a full chook bucket. I think it must hurt his teeth. But he can carry an empty chook bucket. And then he will very triumphantly bring it all the way back. We're still trying to train him to put it on the mat. He does from time to time, but quite often he misses the mat and it makes a very loud noise. And then he will also carry an egg. The trick is to get to him before he gets to the cement, because if he drops it on the cement, we all know what happens. But that's our problem. So we, we still haven't quite refined it. So he's only allowed to do it when we're long on eggs. If he starts to howl, that is when you, you know you're alive. And it's, it's, it's singing more than howling, actually. It is, it's quite, can be quite tuneful, but you have to catch it. And you, he obviously can't quite get him to do it on demand. It would be lovely if we could. I will try and keep the lawn mown as much as I can because the snakes are around. We have water everywhere and, and we really don't mind them, but as long as they're not up next to the house. And I walk round the front of the house one night and I'm always conscious at night in the summertime that there could be snakes, but I was on the veranda and there was this long black line across the cement. I went, ah! And then I continued to walk round very carefully and there was a dog on the end of the tail and it was Barney's tail and he was, I don't know, just for the proportion of his body, it doesn't look long now, but then it was just super long for the rest of his body. Barney loves a car ride. Barney just loves to be with whoever's around. He's, he's probably not always me, but he, he'll go to others, but he does love a car ride. He doesn't tuck himself into the seat belt like some dogs we know. He will load up sometimes, and sometimes he can step in virtually, but he doesn't realise that he can step in half the time. And he also loves a bike ride. If you gave Barney a thousand bucks, he would spend it on soft bedding. Barney likes to stay warm, and he has two cats, so they're his bed warmers. When I need a mouse caught in the haystack, he's a pretty good mouser. Where's the mouse? Where's the mouse? Get the mouse! Get the mouse! Where's the mouse? You like to help, don't you? You like to be part of it.